Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Oh my goodness, I'm loving the truck. It's been pulling the old, any trailer. Oh! Nope, sit, sit, sit. That's the first time I've seen you in about a week, my buddy, my little buddy, my little buddy. Oh, Frederick. Man, here, feel. Oh, look at you, Mr. Short Boy, huh? We'll see today. We're here. We're here for another dog training video, y'all. And uh, this has been a very requested one. Today is collar conditioning. So this is uh, the way, the right way to get your dog used to using a, let's say, shock collar. Electric collar, it sounds so bad. It's not. It's good for your dog. It keeps him safe. It keeps him obedient. You look like you got a new, new nice haircut underneath <laughs> that hat. Dang, you took she it gone. off. <laughs> she, she gone. She gone. <laughs> but I do want to say today's video is sponsored by DT Systems. I mean, if you want anything dog, lab, waterfowl dog, let, let's just put it that way. Well, your waterfowl dog, your duck hunting dog related, any training items, anything, DT Systems is a place to go. I will link all the products that we use from DT down in the description below. Everything from the hand launchers, remote bird launchers, dummies, everything. And on top of that, before we get going, uh, right now, uh, I really want you guys, you, all you guys out there that have been, let me, how do I put this? That have been wanting to learn one thing, that have been waiting for us to do a video on that one thing that you wanna learn, Drop your comment down below and let Charlie and I know what it is. I don't care how simple it is. I don't care how hard it is. I don't care if it's for your puppy, for your older dog, for your middle-aged dog. What is it y'all want to see? What do you got there? Well, these are the collars we're going to be using. Oh, what type of collars are we using? We have the DT RAPT 1400. It is a handheld. We do all operations with one hand. Thank you to DT for allowing us to use this. <laughs> They're awesome, aren't they? <laughs> yep. Big shout out to Brian over at yep. DT, dude. Brian, awesome. you're amazing. I mean, this is the one I've been using on him. That so, one there? Yeah. That's the, really that good. is the Super Trainer, DT that, Super that Trainer. That is the H2O 1820 Plus. H2O 1820 Plus is what you've been using on Fred, and that's a straight training collar. Straight training collar. Right. You can use it in the field. A lot of people, I mean, they use they like this because it's handheld it's it's durable and it floats i think we already yep, established yep. that but it uh <laughs> so if you drop it in the marsh it ain't going nowhere but right. they, they do give you the lanyard so you put it around your neck so you don't do it and it's always accessible right there to your hand and so what's the difference in that one and the rpt 1400 more of a more of a hunting collar you said no it's i mean the pt i mean the pt 1400 is a little bit smaller a little bit low profile low profile yep it right. won't get caught on things won't get i mean it is waterproof it is a floatable collar and transmitter so gotcha. expandable up to three dogs you can still with this same system is like this i mean both systems are comp three dogs you can select between three dogs on it i mean a yep. great 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 product yeah, so when you uh, when you got three dogs, when, let's, there's a lot of guides out there. They'll run two dogs, two dog blinds, and one remote. That's nice. Well, today's video, we're just going to do right in the front yard. You do not have to go to any special place to collar condition your dog. Now, uh, right out of the gate, we need to get something clear here. Charlie, how old, what stage should people's dog be at before a they, lot of people ask before they begin this process so actually i had two of these questions today uh i don't like to put a collar on a dog i'll put a collar on a dog but the collar is off at all position uh, at all times collar is off until they are ready for the collar to be on right now fred's not ready for the collar to be on collar's off but we are going to start using the collar uh we're going to put it on him we're going to show you how to put it on him and then you go from a leash and a heel to today we're just going to do sit we're going to do sit and here on collar conditioning gotcha so, so when, when do people i guess i guess it depends on the dog i mean six seven eight months six I seven mean, eight months when yeah. you start actually using with the collar on correct right i don't 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 put your put a collar one thing, put a collar on your puppy. Put a collar on your puppy. Put the yeah. electric collar on your two, four months, six months. 
but don't start using it. Just let them wear it. Let them get used to the weight of it. Let, let them get you, and it's got to be pretty tight. Yeah. Explain. Two that. fingers. Two fingers under the collar. Some people like three. I use two. Two fingers under the collar. Gotcha. Bring the dog's head up. Rub it in. Uh, Make sure it gets under the hair. Right. To where he he knows it's there. Right. And what he's talking about, guys, getting under the hair is. Look, this is this is why you want your dog to wear it a little while because it's got prongs on it and those prongs need to get underneath the fur and they need to make contact with the dog's skin. So that's why it needs to be tight enough. When I started running it on Fred uh, at the beginning, that thing was flopping around and Brian at DT, he was like, Bobby, you got to tighten right. that yep. thing up. Not on there, right. <laughs> right. That's okay. It's a big deal. That's why we're doing the video. Right. That's why we're doing it for you guys. Right. All right. Now you got, what, what do you call this? You call that's that a slit? Slip collar. Slip, slip collar. No yes. slip. Okay. He's like, I don't want it on. When you when you go to pull, it won't release. See that, guys? Oh, it, it won't it, release. It binds up. Yep. So, turn it around. Now, you can use your arm as a, an example. When you pull up, it does it, but then the weight of the chain brings it down. The weight of the chain lets it go. Yep. Okay. That, all right. So I got gotcha. you. Always make sure, depending on which side your dog heels on. Ah, oh, it depends on which side your dog heals on. Yep. Gotcha. Here. So he heals on your left side. Yep. You want it to be coming out and pointing at you, basically. Pointing at me. Yep. And when you pull it, that it creates pressure. Yep. That pressure off. Pressure on. Pressure, pressure off. off. So Charlie's got him on a leash, got him on the slip collar. And what we're going to do, tell him what you're going to do. Well, right now we're just going to let him wear the collar. We're not going to turn the collar. The collar is off. The transmitter is hanging here, but. I don't want him to associate this pressure coming from that collar right now because he has no idea what that collar is. Right. He has been wearing it throughout the, some of the training videos and everything. All right, so we got the leash on him. We got the collar on. The collar is not on. We've got our transmitter. Later on, we will turn the transmitter on and show you guys. But right now, we are just going to walk around with the leash, get him used to healing with the leash. So heal, heal, heal. Heel. Good boy. Good. A lot of encouragement. Heel. Heel. Good. Heel. Heel. Good. Heel. 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 Sit. Good boy. If he doesn't sit, a little bit of pressure up. Doesn't have to choke him. Doesn't have to make him gag. All you're looking for is reaction. Just to get pressure. his attention, basically. Yeah. And if he doesn't do it, put your hand on his butt and set it down. Let him know that that's what you're wanting to do. Before you just go zapping yeah. him. Basically, oh, yeah. you're telling him, this is what we're going to be working this is, on. This is your pressure now. This is going to be your pressure later. Right. So it's building up yeah. to the collar. We're, we're building to the collar. You don't just throw it on there and hope for the best. Gotcha. Sit. 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 No. Sit. Sit. Good. Good. Sit. Good boy. Heel. Heel. Good boy. Good. Lots so, of good encouragement. So what I did was, see, I, I I focused on him, but I was bringing my leg back to let him know that's where I'm wanting him to come. Look, he still wanted to scoot back oh, yeah. there. He's like, just hey. because he's seen my leg. Right. He goes off movement. So sit. Good boy. Good. Sit. 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 Good. Sit. I'm just giving him a little tug, just so I'm just trying to encourage him to come. Trying to entice him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, entice him just a little bit. Not encourage, I'm sorry. But entice just a little bit and good boy. Sit. Sit. Come on, sit. Good. All right, good boy. Good job, buddy. That's what He's we a want. good boy. Good, sit. Now, when I first got here, uh, he started with the slip collar. And f Heel. when I first got here, see? Now he's used to me being here and not being here. Uh, you could tell when I first got here, the owner being around, it creates no, a barrier. So that's why uh, I have not been around much. A lot of you, heck, some of you think I sold for it. No, <laughs> they do, man. They do. Or, the other day, a guy was like, I can't believe you sold for it. Oh, I had a guy call me. He's like, he called me the other day. Did you, did you, did Bobby Guy give you that dog? I was like, no, Bobby Guy didn't give me that dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's a good boy. There's with the leash, okay? We're, that's what you do with the leash. You're just going, what is this leash, Bobby? Six foot, maybe? Yep. Six foot? Six okay. Foot. So six foot out. So sit. Heel. 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 Turn your butt. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good. He's kind of being a lazy boy today. 
Yeah, it is hot. But essentially, uh, the slip collar is taking the pressure, is providing the pressure before you start using the collar with it on. Guys, this may take, this may take two weeks. Right. Now, everybody has to understand, Bobby has done a great job with getting him to this point. Yes, he's got some issues, but he has worked, he has been through a lot of birds, a lot of drive, a lot of everything. So we're, we're trying to get that, you know, right now it's work time, not play time. Right. So. He's a good boy. This could take, this could take two weeks. Now, every day for But you've been working minutes. with him on just oh, this yeah, every for day, every probably day. what, two weeks? Oh, week? no, 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 yeah. Maybe a week and a half, maybe. A week and a half, okay. So maybe today, that's why we're maybe. doing this video today, is Fred is actually ready for the collar yep, to be on today. Yep, we're ready. I'm, we're just going through the steps here. Right, we're building them up Got to turn it on Got today. Up. One thing about it, guys, uh, collars, guns, you have to build up to them. Um, I'm, I've learned everything. I'm acting like I know it all. I've learned it from Charlie. Believe you me. I, I've, when I started doing all this, I didn't do it right. So this is the right way. Build up. Build up. Look at him. He's doing good. I'm not even. I'm not even over here, Fred. He's doing awesome. So Charlie has worked with him, like he said, for the last two weeks, and Charlie's like, okay, Bob, he's ready to turn the collar on. So. Today's the first day. Now, oh, gee, man, you got a 20-foot lead. Yep. Now we go to what they call them check cords. Check so cord. The, I highly suggest everybody gets one if they're going to train their dog. They're very user-friendly. I mean, it's just like having that leash, but you can make the correction from 20 foot away. Now, yeah, because now so, you're incorporating distance. Now we're trying to build up that distance. I mean, just trying to make him feel comfortable at a longer distance. Right. So still with we're gonna the do pressure. The same thing. Same thing. We just trade it in for a longer rope. Yep. For a check cord. Sit. Sit. And if you notice, when I say sit, I'm giving a little pressure. That's sit. Sit. Just so he knows that that pressure means that I want that butt on the ground. Sit. Good. Good boy. Good. Sit. Good. No. Sit. Good. Good. Good job. Sit. Sit. Here. Sit. Good boy. Good. All right, heel. Like heel. we've always said, lots heel. of encouragement when they do good. Heel. Good. Good. Sit. Good boy. Good. Heel. Heel. Sit. Good boy. All right, good. Sit. Just repeating it, repeating it until you know he's and ready this to might go. Take a week, week and a half. You just keep doing it until they, till they got it down. Just till they understand. Until what they you want. know that they got it down. And if sit, sit. And sometimes, you know, if you've worked your dog so hard on sit, you know, sometimes when you say here, they're gonna. No, you told me to say sit first. Right. Uh, maybe you know that's what this rope's for. Give them a little encouragement. Get them to you. So. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna say, I here. I'm pulling him towards me. Meaning trying to faster pick up, now. Yeah, heel. trying to pick up that speed. Gotcha, gotcha. Heel. Sit. Good boy. Good. Good. Sit. Good boy. I did have a question Good. the other day. Someone asked me, Bobby, my, my dog will come to me, but he takes ten minutes to do it. There you That's go. This collar will There you go. Hey. Sit. 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 Good, good. Here. See, he's already starting to pick up his pace. Gotcha. Sit. Good. Uh oh. Now what are you on. doing? Well, we're going to leave this on. We're going to set the collar. Okay. So I'm going to turn the collar on. There's a button here and a light right here. Turn. So you hold the button yep. until it flashes green. Yep. Flashing green. Gotcha. That collar is on. Now, this next part here, how to sit your collar during this process. It's yes, important. Sir. Yes. So you'll have a you'll have numbers. One uh, through 30 through, I mean, some of them go to 100. Right. So always start at the lowest number. So we're at one. So I'm going to give him a nick. Hey, Fred, here, sit. Didn't even No play. difference. No difference. He got a nick. No, did not even feel it. So, that's what we're looking for. So now we're gonna bump it up 
bump it up one. Oh, there okay. The... You see the movement of the ears? Yep. Okay. So that is on a that's a low three. Low three. So there it was again. Okay. So now we know that that I'm gonna back it down one notch. So I'm gonna, Fred, we're gonna run on a two. Okay. So little bit. Little bit, not much. Okay. Yep. He didn't squall. He didn't scream. He didn't take off running towards the garage. Most important thing. Right. So you don't you don't want your dog going yay or yeah. or, no, or no, no, no. something crazy. You just want a little reaction, Good just boy. like Frederick. Yeah. He bowed his head. So I'm actually gonna switch back to the other leash, like I was going. The six footer. Yep. Because now we're gonna incorporate the leash yep. with the collar. Got your collar in hand. Got your neck. Heel. 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 Good. Heel. If he gets out of heel. See, so give him a every knife. time. Heel. Heel. Good. Good. Heel. Heel. Every time I jerk, I gave him a nick. Heel. Good. Heel. See, I'm 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 a thing being here. That's for sure. You need to hire a cameraman, Charlie, to do these, so the <laughs> so the owner don't have to be here. That's Boy, a problem. Good, good. good. Distraction's okay. I mean, right. You want him to pay attention to you, not the distraction. Good. See. Yep. He's already ten times better right there. Good, buddy. Good. Good. Eel. Sit. Good. So, Sit. whenever he wasn't doing just what you said, you're giving him a little jerk. A, a little jerk, but a nick at the same time. Same time. Same time. So now so. you're what you're doing is you're trading the pressure of the collar yep. for the for electric the, collar. For the electric nick. Yes. So, he doesn't even know that that exchange is happening and Charlie's no. making it happen. Mm -mm. That's amazing, man. Sit. You just blew my mind. <laughs> you literally just Sit. blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sit. I'm dumb. Sit, hey. I'm telling you. Old so. Frederick's gonna be a stud muffin, dude. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing on here. So we're gonna get his attention, Fred. The, here. As I'm pulling the leash, I'm giving him a nick. Gotcha. It's just hurry up, dude. Hurry up, dude. Yeah. Oh, once we get to the 30 foot, you'll see him pick up his pace. And you might not get to the 30 foot on the first day, guys. I mean, and this is his first day with it on. Right. So today we're probably not. I mean. We're not going to get to that 30 foot check cord. Right. This is just entry, day one yeah. with the collar actually on. Lots of love. Lots of love. Lots you want that, love. the best place for that dog to be is right by your side. Right. This is, uh, it's, it's not exciting. A lot of you are probably like, man, we clicked on this video and we thought we were going to see a yiping dog or a squalling dog. No, 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 no. That is the incorrect. You, you should never hear a dog. Uh, let, 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 I'm going to hit on something real quick. There has been many a times in the public marsh. Uh, that I have listened to dogs just getting burned. And what, what what do I mean by burn? You know what I mean by burn. <laughs> burn is where, you, I mean, okay, so consistent and up high, real high, real high. You just high. hear that dog going. So, yeah, dog is doing anything but it can to get back. To yeah. where, it doesn't want to go back to where it was. I mean, right. you're, you're telling that dog, you're sending a bad message. Yeah. If you ever hear that in the marsh, a dog just squalling, it's probably what's happening. A, a lot of uh, it happens. I've heard it literally. A lot of wait. guys yelling and then burning. Yeah. Yeah, here, here, and you'll hear. Rawr, rawr, rawr. That's not okay. That's it. Good. You've done great. Yes, he, he has done good really, really game. good. You're like, oh, thank you so much. It's baby steps, though. It is baby steps. Baby steps and time, just like you're we'll, saying. Yeah, it might we'll, take a, a couple to few weeks. We may do this to. This Three. isn't going to happen overnight. In, no, 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 no. And especially guys, you don't want to slip that collar on until your dog knows Good. here and and sit yeah. and stay or, you know, whatever, whatever words that you guys are, everybody's yep. different. Uh, one, one little bit of advice sit. that Charlie taught me very, very, very early, way before we started these training yeah. videos was Bobby, yeah. cut your vocabulary. The words that you want Fred to know, cut them down. Uh, only have minimal words. Sit here. Those two words. Sit should mean sit until told otherwise. The words stay and sit really should mean the same thing. You shouldn't use stay. Sit until told otherwise. Heel. Now notice every time 
Charlie jerks that cord. He's still nicking him. Getting, getting him used to the collar, the, the electric collar, and not the slip collar. He's doing really well with it. He's he, he's a happy dog. His tail's wagging. Yeah. That's what you want when you're doing this. When you're collar conditioning your dog, you want him to be happy. You don't want him. You don't want him unhappy. This should the, everything should be praise, happy dog. And give him some freebies too. Like right now, I'm gonna tell him to hear, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna nick or nothing. Gotcha. Lots of freebies. I mean, Lots of freebies. Maybe, so maybe one nick to every five hears. Gotcha. Lots of freebies. It's not every time no, you no, want him no, to do no. something. You want, no, you don't want him to think every time he's, you say that word, he's going to get that. Or every that. time you tell him to do anything, he's right. going to feel it. Right. No, no. You. I mean, so lots of freebies. Fred's doing really well. I'm telling you what. He is. Uh, he's impressing me every time I come here. That boy. Uh-oh. Look, Fred knows. Fred knows what time it is now. Sit. All right, buddy. Good. All right. You did a good job. Sit. No, sit. Sit. It. All right, hey. Always end it with a good one. Always, always hey, end hey. it with. Come on. Always got to end it with a good one. Heel. Heel. Uh, not to me, over there, dude. That's it. You gonna get your butt in trouble now? Fetch it up, good boy. Good boy, sit. Fred. 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 He's like, are you sure I can go? That's a good boy right there. Hey, he good is, job. His steadiness, I'm telling you what, his steadiness Heel. getting so good. Now, uh, one of the videos that we're going to try to do here before too long is we're going to try to get Fred and Charlie and myself, all three of us, out on a pigeon hunt. And uh, the reason why we really need to get all three of us out together hey, hey, on a hey, pigeon hey. hunt was because I need to have my gun. I need to be shooting and hunting. That builds a ton of drive and excitement in Fred, and so much so that he became unsteady last season. You guys seen him break all the time. So, a pigeon hunt right now with Charlie managing him and with me shooting, we'll be able to use the collar, slip collar, the electric collar, we'll be able to use those in conjunction with not letting him break. You can imagine with live hunting, real birds like a pigeon or duck or goose hunt, his excitement goes out the roof compared right, to a bumper all right Sit. it's easy basically what i'm getting at it's easy to uh fix his braking with just a dummy but actually out in the field the excitement is so much higher fetch all right so just on the command fetch 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 Ooh, yeah, watch that finger now yeah, watch that finger. <laughs> so what what you do this at the end of every training session and he has no idea what fetch is even right now but i mean he does such a good job with it that you know because we've just we've worked through every routine right so now he knows so sit fetch it up gotcha good boy see now and i'm just making it an everyday occurrence right. to him it's not it's not hey we went through that stage already it's called force fetch but right to now we he's already interpreted and he knows when i say fetch he he knows oh he wants it in my mouth right. fetch fetch good boy sit fetch sit see oh bobby's technique well let me tell you what my <laughs> technique is. dead bird dead bird he'd drop it out of his mouth walking back to him i'd be dead bird so i was trying to incorporate dead bird uh and trying to relate it to fetch and charlie he is cleaning fred up for all the beginning mistakes that i made thank goodness right. sit not using the word stay again sit fred that's how she's supposed to go right there all right buddy good it's gonna be a good year i hope so it's gonna be a good year that's a good boy here heel set my bird Again, this is introduction, introducing your dog to an electric collar. Once you get to this stage, uh, how should they maintain it? How do you get it to a higher setting for more manageability, per se? Uh, we'll work on it, and once he, once he knows what he's doing and what he's being asked of, and how to 
how to prevent that pressure. Right. Well, uh, every dog's gonna have a stubborn side. Every dog does it. Uh, sometimes you got to go a little higher, but a lot of times, I mean, it, it's just a it's a few clicks. So what's you? What are you thinking for Fred? You know, is that a low to, or a high two, low three? Uh, what, it's, what do you think he's going to be at once he's fully called? Probably trained? a three or four. Three or four. Yep. Totally, and never I any would say, higher than that. I mean, I would never go probably higher than that on him because right. he I mean, he's just like human. Everybody takes pre everybody takes pain differently. Right, just like. Uh, getting a tattoo affects humans differently. It yep. hurts some people more than others. It's a good point. Gerald, uh, his black dog, Archer, he's in training in actually New York. And just the other day, he was like, what are you doing with Fred? What's the next video you're going to do? I'm like, car conditioning. He was like, oh, hopefully he's not like Archer. And I'm like, what do you mean? And he was like, Archer is the most stubborn, hard-headed, just takes, be. takes a ton of pain to make Archer do something. Mm -hmm. Like, the collar. He said he don't even put a collar on Archer because he really don't react to it. <laughs> because he's so just hyper and yeah, high just his drive's crazy and yeah. and Fred, he's a little more sensitive, a lot he, more sensitive lot than more Archer. Sensitive. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, Every dog sensitive. will be different. This is a way to see where your dog's at. This is a good explanation to to really. Get that remote set to where your dog needs to be. Most dogs, most dogs you'll see, I would not be surprised to see around the five to seven range on the DT collar. Um, that That's pretty typical on most of my dogs. I, they're about a five or a seven. And gotcha. that's that's pretty normal. Right. He knows what's in me. Oh yeah, he does. So, he that knows. tail, you were just saying, that's the most important thing. Get Keep that tail wagging at all times. Every time. If you guys are seeing a negative reaction from your dog and, and your dog is really cowering down to you and, and not listening, you're probably being a little bit uh, little harsh, a little bit too abrupt, and you're probably trying to move too quickly for your dog. That's what I did with Fred a lot in the field. When he wouldn't listen to me, I'd get harder on him and harder, and then he'd just cowered down more and more and more, and eventually it, it made him be, how do I, what, what's the best word, cowerful. I, I, basically, he always bowed his head to me because I demanded too much out of him and I didn't build him up for what I was trying to get out of him. So, old Frederick, you're in good hands now. Ooh, well, we're back home and uh, I wanna tell you guys a few things here. Number one, I, uh, I don't want you guys to think that I'm a know-it-all at dog training. When it comes to dog training, y'all, and these videos in particular, um, I give a huge, huge thank you and appreciation to Charlie. And no, 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 I'm not just talking about for these videos specifically, I'm talking about before these videos existed. Uh, the first season I got Fred. This time last year, pretty much, when I, uh, when I was so worried that Fred wasn't gonna be able to do, to, basically I was afraid that he wasn't gonna be able to perform at all. And I didn't know how good of a dog trainer I, I was or how good I was going to be. So guess what I'm getting at is last year, Charlie helped me so much. I went over to his house and um, he just taught me. He taught me the basics. He put me on game. He was like, one, two, and three. This is what you need to work on. This is what you need to concentrate on every day. Uh, if you want Fred just to be a good old meat dog and retrieve birds for you. Now, that being said, uh, last year... <clears throat> my concentration on Fred not breaking while hunting, I mean, it wasn't there. I had no option. Uh, basically, when, when I got Fred, all I was able to do was teach him to place and sit at home in the backyard. And then we automatically got into hunting. So, long story short, I don't regret anything. It's just now, man, these videos, being here with Charlie and, and us making these videos for you guys... I'm literally learning just as much, if not more than you guys, every single video that I make for you guys, if that makes any sense. Um, I appreciate these videos. I hope you guys do too. If you like them, drop a comment down below. Like I said at the beginning of the video, let me know what you guys want to learn for your dog. If you, I don't care if your dog's four months old, eight months old, six years old. You, you get what I'm saying. Whatever you want to learn. Drop a comment down there, and me and Charlie will pay attention to those comments and we'll try to bring some videos up for you guys that are gonna be the ones that you're looking for. So, that being said, I do wanna give DT Systems a massive shout out 
for sponsoring this entire uh, dog trip Labrador Retriever training series. Thank you, DT Systems. Uh, their products, honestly, you cannot compare them. Uh, awesome price for one thing, and they work flawlessly. Awesome bumpers, awesome collars, awesome launchers. Fred is getting places because not only Charlie, but DT Systems. Thank you, DT Systems. If you guys want to pick up something from DT, I will link all the products that Charlie and I use for Fred and for the puppies and for all the other dogs down in the description below. But I want to thank you guys for being here again. Hit that notification bell on there because it'll notify you when these videos hit the ground running. Until next time. Peace. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism. Pessimism.